Hey guys, it's Jill Pantosi, the Nerdy Bird. Um, I was a little tired of writing today, so I decided that I was going to try my new computer out and do a video review of the Green Lantern movie, which I just saw this morning. Um, so yeah, here it is. I got my little buddy Dexter here with me. Uh, just in case there's any rage-filled moments, we'll see. I don't know. I can't promise anything. Um, okay, so first of all, I'm going to say that Green Lantern was good. It wasn't great. And as hard as that is for me to say, because I'm a huge Green Lantern fan, um, that's that's just the honest truth of it. Um, it, it was an exciting movie. It was action-packed. It had great visuals. Um, it just wasn't up to where I thought it should be. Um, let's break it down a little bit. Um, oh, and there will be a few spoilers in here, just so you know, just to warn you now. Um, so Ryan Reynolds, I was worried about him at the beginning playing how, um, he luckily did not have too many of his Ryan Reynolds-isms, I call them, um, where he just basically plays himself. Um, he did a good job of, of toning that down and not being a major, uh, you know, jokester the entire time. Um, but at the same time, uh, he didn't scream Hal Jordan to me. Um, he just seemed like a regular guy who, you know, he was cocky for some of it and, you know, but then they, I don't know, they, they treated him a little differently than I expect, uh, Hal to be, um. Blake Lively, who I also was a little worried about, didn't bother me <laughs> nearly as much as I thought she was going to. Uh, she actually did a pretty good job playing Carol Ferris. Um, Peter Sarsgaard did a great job playing Hector Hammond. He was extremely creepy, um, and once he was in all the prosthetics or, you know, all the effects, um, looked absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, but the big standout as far as acting goes definitely, definitely has to go to Mark Strong as Sinestro. Um, he had a decent-sized role in the movie, and uh, he was just fantastic. Everything you expect Sinestro to be, um, and more. Um, like I said, the effects were, were awesome. Um, I saw it in 3D, and while I'm not a big supporter of the whole 3D movement, um, it works with this movie. It's not one of those jump-out-at-you kind of 3D things, but, um, but it's nice with the, the stars and, um, all the ring construction and all that. Um, I think that Green Lantern fans will be happy with it for the most part. Um, they stay pretty true to what the story is in the comics, um, and everything else, you know, the look of everybody, um, is pretty similar. Um, I was definitely giddy at some points when I saw certain characters and certain things from the comic, uh, to the point where I was actually covering, covering my mouth, um, for a while. So that was a nice, uh, feeling to have. Um, one thing about it that, that I didn't like was that, uh, some of the pacing felt like it was off. Um, they would jump around a lot from one thing to another, um, and that was sort of distracting when you were going from space, uh, on Oa, you know, back to Earth, or, or, you know, vice versa. Um, one of the biggest problems for me, and I guess I had to expect this, was that there wasn't enough of the actual core in the movie. Um, and that was my biggest disappointment, honestly. Um, it's Hal's origin story, you know. People who don't know Green Lantern need to see this and understand what's going on. Um, and I get that. But there was so little of the core it wasn't even funny. Um, you know, I know they took a long time to cast um, Kilowog and Tomare, and when they finally got Michael Clark Duncan and Jeffrey Rush uh, to play those roles, it was so late in the game, and I was like, you know, how are they going to finish all their lines in time? Well, no joke, it probably took them an afternoon um, doing voiceovers in the studio to get, to get it done, because they literally have so few lines. Um, they are the core members that get the most action, besides Sinestro, of course. Um, lots of other favorites are shown, but that is literally it. They don't have any lines. Nobody else uh, gets to talk to Hal when he's on Oa. Um, and that was one of the biggest things I wanted to see. I actually wrote a list um, on Newsarama recently. Uh, eight things that uh, I wanted to happen in Green Lantern in order for... Uh, 
me to love it. And three out of the eight things happened, so that was definitely a little disappointing. Um, I'm not going to say all of, of which three happened, because I want there to be some surprises for people. Um, I don't understand the anger that some reviewers are giving it. Uh, I mean, literally, ragey, rage, <laughs> anger. Um, you know, it was it was not a bad movie. It had great action. You know, um, the writing, I think, for the most part, or the story as a whole, could have been stronger. Um, but it certainly wasn't bad. You know, it made sense. Um, it followed along with, you know, what you're familiar with in the comics. And if you're not familiar with the comics, it certainly explains it all for you. Um, the, the thing that just upsets me so much is there was so much pressure on this movie. And obviously, you know, I saw it a little early, you know, midnight screenings are happening right now. Um, and the whole weekend rush of people are going to be seeing it. Um, I feel like this <laughs> really, really need to be a strong movie. Um, in order for, for DC to be more than just a uh, one-trick pony as far as the, the films go. Of course, Christopher Nolan's Batman movies have done awesome. And this needed to, you know, kick it up a notch and, and sort of match that, if not surpass it. And fortunately, it definitely did not do that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about how Thor and X-Men did recently, and how when you saw those movies, you felt like those were those characters, you know, like you were seeing these people from the page come onto the screen, and that was definitely them. And I don't know if it's the star power of Ryan Reynolds that maybe took me out of it more, because in Thor and X-Men, yeah, those actors have been in movies before, but they're not huge blockbuster stars like Ryan Reynolds is. Um, so maybe that had something to do with it. Uh, but it definitely, you know, didn't scream Green Lantern to me. And that makes me sad because, I, like I said, I'm really such a big fan. Um, but saying that, I do want to see it again. Um, I know there is one thing that I definitely missed um, that I want to check out for. There was a few things that uh, were supposed to be in the movie, or at least on IMDb, it said that uh, someone was cast as Jon Stewart, and uh, unless I missed it somewhere, he is definitely not in the movie. Um, you know, I was even looking at background characters or whatnot. Um, other than that, uh, I hope it makes enough money so that there is a sequel, because I have a feeling that once they get all this origin stuff out of the way, um, they'll be you know, time to explore the actual Green Lantern Corps and show what a huge force they are when they all work together. Um, you know, even if Hal is leading them or if they're just, you know, showing the day-to-day, -day, um, you know, work of the Lanterns going to different planets, not just being on Earth. Um, because I think that's where a lot of the Green Lantern strength comes from. It's, you know, all the different fantastic core members, you know, I wanted to see, uh, Sornik, you know, get up there and talk to Hal or Lara or, you know, Utica, um, and unfortunately they didn't have roles or speaking roles, um, so yeah, I hope that they do get a chance to do a sequel so they can explore some of that stuff a little more, um, there is, as you would expect, one of the other colors in the, uh, spectrum of emotions in the film. Um, unfortunately, wasn't this guy right here. I looked for a cat. There was no cat, but that's okay. We'll save that for later. Um, and yeah, just stay for the after credit scene, but it comes after just the, uh, the big names, uh, in the credits. It's not after the whole thing, so you can just wait, see that little thing, and get up and go to the bathroom if you need to. So yeah, that's basically my thoughts. Um, like I said, I'll see it again, and maybe I'll take, thing, you know, different things away from it the next time, but it was definitely an enjoyable movie. Um, if you are a Green Lantern fan, I would recommend seeing it. Uh, it's very cool to see this stuff on screen, you know, um, even if it's not perfect. Um, seeing Hal put on his ring and get his suit on for the first time and just the, the wonder of it is really something to see, so... 
that's it from the Nerdy Bird, and uh, if you like this video, let me know, and I'll see if I uh, can make some more in the near future. All right? See you guys.